Hey, and welcome to The Better Drummer with Zach Covington. I'm Zach Covington. Today, we're going to talk about how to play jazz drums with brushes. Now, if you're a beginner jazz drummer and you don't have a pair of brushes yet, you need to go pick some up. They are an essential tool when it comes to jazz drumming. There are a lot of options. Um, this is not an ad, but I use the Vic Firth Heritage Brush. Um, these have worked really well for me, and I've had these for um, probably going on five years or so. So um, definitely a good tool to have. And again, an essential one when it comes to being a jazz drummer. So if you don't have any right now, go get some, come back to this video, and then let's learn how to play with them. If you are a beginner jazz drummer, like I just mentioned, I want to give you something absolutely for free that I made for you. It is a PDF that you can get down in the description called Jazz Drums, the Basics. And this is a five or six page PDF that lays out a bunch of stuff on how to get started, learning the swing pattern, learning how to play with brushes, and uh, it'll give you some exercises and concepts to get you rolling as quickly as possible into the jazz realm. All right, so you've got your brushes now. So let's talk about a few things with the brushes. With most brushes, you can control the amounts that you spread them out with the um, little rod at the bottom. So one mistake I see often is that people just push them all the way out. Now, this can be good for some things, but generally we wanna try and have it, uh, if your brushes have a little uh, indentation at the bottom, I like to be not all the way on that last indentation, but maybe one or two from the bottom, depending on, um, on what type of music that we're playing. Um, so for this, just get them almost all the way out, but not quite all the way. Um, this is going to give us a nice mixture of being able to get a nice swish around the drum and still having some clarity to the attack. This lesson is going to be a sort of two for one lesson because we're going to play this uh, with the traditional grip in our left hand. So if you haven't played with tr traditional grip before, what you do is um, take your left hand and instead of holding it uh, like you would normally hold a drumstick, this is called match grip, what I want you to do is grab the brush, but I want you to turn your hand from sort of where your palm is facing the ground to where your palm is facing sideways, put the brush in between your thumb and pointer finger, then bring your bottom two fingers in like you're pointing a gun at somebody, rest the brush on that uh, ring finger there, and then wrap your uh, two fingers, other two fingers around, and that's the easiest way I can explain traditional grip without going super in depth. So once you get your hand like that, you can position the brush in any way. We want it to be um, parallel to the drum head so that we can get the most surface area touching the drum. Now to start out with that traditional grip in the left hand, what I want us to do is just place the brush on the head and then we're just gonna move the brush around in a circle, or sort of an oval, actually. Now, what I want you to do is to try and get the most even sound possible and have there not be any uh, jolting, sort of like this, or stopping and starting noises. Right, we want it to be nice and smooth all the way throughout in our left hand. So let's try that together. One thing you might notice is that I'm nice and relaxed in my left hand and my left arm, and I'm sort of letting my wrist do a little bit of that motion for me. I'm also not pushing really hard down into the drum like this. This is what it would sound like if I was pushing really hard, right? I'm sort of just letting the wires of the brush gently skim across the drum head like that. So practice that for a while until you can get a nice smooth sound, not moving your arm too much, right? Just a natural motion, getting it nice and smooth and almost like the waves of the ocean. Now that we've got our left hand out of the way, we're gonna move on to our right, which is basically just gonna be playing the jazz ride pattern. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and one, like that. Now, how we do that on the snare drum is a little bit different than on the ride cymbal. On the snare drum, we're gonna be moving from left to right. so. I like to start with beat one on the right. One, 
Then we're gonna move our left hand over to the right side of the drum and we'll go two and three. And we repeat that process. So again, that looks like this. If we, if we do just the right hand, it looks like this. One, two, and three. Again, one, two, and three. And that's a cycle. We do the same thing for three, four, and one, right? One, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and one. As you're playing that, make sure that you're not slamming down into the drum. When we play with brushes, this is supposed to be sort of lighter and not so bombastic, although it can be. But in this case, we're gonna learn how to just do it nice and light, playing off the drum instead of playing down into the drum. Now, to add our left hand into that, we can see that when we play beat one, our left hand is gonna cross underneath our right hand for beat two, then they're gonna trade back, and three, same thing, four, and one, two, and three, four, and one. Try that out with me at this tempo. Making sure to get your hand out of the way when coming across the drum, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four. Last time, one, two, and three. So this is the exact same thing as uh, rubbing your belly and patting your head, basically. This might take some time for you to get used to the motion and for your brain to sort of understand, okay, this goes here at this point, and then, uh, but then my other ha hand's got to do this. So don't get frustrated. Go nice and slow. Focus on one hand at a time, then slowly combining the other two, or excuse me, the other hand together to get both hands in this sort of cyclical motion. So in the context of a medium or even up-tempo swing tune, all we would do with this technique is just make the motions a little bit smaller and um, not come so far up off the drum. And that is what allows us to play a little bit faster and to uh, swing a little bit harder also. One, two, up, one, two, three, uh. As you could see, I was doing the same sort of crossover pattern that I was talking about. One, two, and three, four, and one. But instead of spanning across the whole drum, just keeping it nice and in the center. And again, that's what allowed me to be able to go. I also now wanna talk about how to play a ballad with brushes. We're gonna do the same sort of thing, but with our right hand, we can also, instead of just playing off the drum, we can sweep with it as well. So that might look something like this. Here's what the right hand looks like. So we sweep up, back, forward. Up, back, forward. Up, back, forward. Up, back. And our left hand is doing the same thing, going in that oval or circle pattern. We're just doing it twice as fast, so instead of uh, coming around the whole drum over two beats. One, two, three, right? One, two, three. We do it all within one beat. So one, two, and three, four. One, two, three, four. See, we're ending up in the same spot every time we say a number. One, two, and three, four.
So that's the basics for the brushes in a jazz context. Again, if this is unnatural to you right now, practice slowly with each hand and then eventually add the other one in and just visualize that motion, really get a deep understanding for where the brushes are at any given point in the measure, and then you can slowly speed that up and become more fluid. That's one of the main things that you need to focus on as well when playing with the brushes is being nice and fluid. If we're rigid, if we're tight, if we're tense, that's gonna come across in the brushes and it is going to sound pretty bad. So really focus on staying relaxed and getting nice and fluid motions all throughout uh, the drum and as you're going from drum to drum or to the cymbals or whatever, everything's gotta be nice and relaxed and nice and smooth. If there's anything you'd like to see more on the brushes or any other thing within the jazz context, leave a comment and I will either reply to that comment or I'll maybe even make a video about what you want to learn in the future. Thanks for watching today. If you liked what you saw, you can hit that like and subscribe button as it uh, subscribing helps me to feed my uh, orangutans. Thanks again and I'll see you when you're a better drummer.